he, he loves playing with, with balls a lot. He, he, he'll, he'll take a ball and, you know, throw it all around the room. We try to, you know, make him use his right hand as much as possible when he's doing all these activities so he can, you know, get that, get that shoulder worked out. So the brachial plexus is a collection of nerves that exits the neck and goes under the collarbone and forms all the nerves of the upper extremity that give both sensation as well as the electrical supply for muscle function. Unfortunately, about one in a thousand live bursts results in an injury to the brachial plexus. How's it going, Ed? Good, good. How are you? Good. How's this good. young man doing? He's doing awesome. Famous Janus. Hey, buddy. His shoulder looks like he's doing great. Yes. Jameis is a patient who had sort of the classic type of brachial plexus injury, which is called a nervous palsy. And this is an injury to the upper part of the brachial plexus, which affects both shoulder and elbow function. So we do a surgery where you basically put the shoulder back into an appropriate position and also give the shoulder more function by moving a muscle or a tendon to the shoulder to give it some function which it didn't have before and which allows the humerus or the arm part of the shoulder to stay inside the joint and to form normally as he grows. We didn't learn about brachial plexus until we seen the neurologist here at Arkansas Children's, and that's when he said, well, this is a brachial plexus injury. I think one of the important things is at Arkansas Children's Hospital, we really have a multidisciplinary team with occupational therapists and surgeons who can follow these patients and intervene at the appropriate time. The surgery for brachial plexus is very specialized because it's not a common injury. Dr. Tate and I actually did additional training. I would travel internationally to learn specifically techniques to allow for nerve grafting, which we can do in many cases. In some cases, we have to do nerve transfers where we take a working nerve and transfer it to a non-working nerve. All these things combining here at Arkansas Children's Hospital allow us to provide good quality care for these patients. And due to the complexity and the resources needed to treat these patients, very few centers in the country actually treat these patients. We're the only place in the state of Arkansas that does these procedures, and one of the few places in the entire region. It is a relief now, especially after he had the surgery, because we were going to have to go up to St. Louis, and then the impact and everything from the surgery, I was glad that we were closer to home. Everything has been a success, so we're grateful for him.